Oh, hey, mommies. My name is Tui, and I'll go over some tips for cruising with babies. Remember that babies must be a minimum of six months to cruise, and these tips are good for those who have already picked out their cruise ship. Number one, baby's luggage essentials. Have enough diapers and wipes. Overpacking a little is better than not having enough because cruise ships do not have diapers and it might be a little tricky to find some at ports. Have documents, birth certificates, and or passports and boarding passes. Sealed food and snacks. Medicine and a thermometer. If not, go to the port's pharmacy because cruise ships hardly have anything. Have enough clothing and swim clothing. You can also go to my packing checklist for babies and toddlers. The link will be under the description below. Number two, stroller. Have a good stroller that is easiest for you. Some mamas like the wagon, standard stroller, double stroller, or lightweight umbrella stroller. For our family, we like the lightweight umbrella stroller. Some ports like Grand Cayman, Belize, and Half Moon K uses tender boats. So it's also easy for us to fold and maneuver our umbrella stroller on the ports tender boats and buses while handling our baby, toddler, and beach bags at the same time. Also bring your baby carrier or baby hip carrier if your baby prefers it. Wagons are only acceptable to use when getting on and off the ship. They're not allowed to use on the ship, so just keep that in mind. Number three, sleeping arrangements. Know what your sleeping arrangements will be and pack according to that, even for nap times. We bed share with our baby, but if you co-sleep, request a pack and play crib from the cruise line by calling beforehand or letting your cruise steward know. They will introduce themselves as soon as they see you in the hallways or as soon as they see you step into the stateroom. These cribs are free, but may not be super comfortable. You can bring your own pack and plan sheets, bring an inflatable travel bed, slumber pod, or blackout curtains with magnetic hooks if your kiddos need to sleep in the dark. The cabin walls are magnetic. Don't forget a nightlight either. If not, just have the bathroom light on and have the door open a little bit is what we do. Number four, room organization. Storage organization in the room is always great, especially when you have two or more people in the room. What we like to use is foldable cubes, some people like the hanging door closet shoe organizer on their cabin walls hung by magnetic hooks. However, I use this and since my baby is walking, she pulls down the organizer from the wall because I'm short and I need to be able to reach those pockets. So I don't want it too high, but when it is too low, she pulls down on it. So that is definitely an organizer I will use again when my baby is older or two. Number five, showers. For the showers in the stateroom, the majority are stand-up showers. You can bring a collapsible tub or inflatable tub for the shower floor. For my family, I shower my baby while standing up and hand my baby off to my husband to dry and dress her. Number six, storing milk. Breastfeeding mamas, request a medical grade fridge for your stateroom from your cabin attendant. If one is not available, the guest services desk can store it in their medical grade fridge instead. For my daughter, I just left her milk in the fridge in the room. Also, if your babies are starting to eat, stock up on milk, yogurt, or fruits from the MDR main dining room breakfast or breakfast buffet. For the MDR breakfast, just let your waiter know that you want to take back some milk cartons and I just leave ours in the fridge for the day and replenish after each breakfast. After eating in the MDR, we do like to stroll in the breakfast buffet to see if there are any other snacks I could find for us to save in our cabin room like bananas and yogurt. Number seven, dining. Arrange your dining schedule around nap times or what is best for your family. For the main dining room, we already know what to order in advance by looking at our cruise line apps. Our server always brings a fruit cocktail as soon as we sit down for our baby to eat. We pace her eating because she can eat longer than my toddler. My toddler, however, eats less and when he is done eating, we let him play on his tablet. Go ahead and download those shows and apps in advance. If you need ideas of game apps that work on Wi-Fi mode and don't need internet, I have a link posted under the description. Keep in mind that even if you have a dining time scheduled, you are not obligated to go to that time every night. You can always line up for a my time dining or any time dining or hit up the buffet instead, depending on how everyone is feeling. Number eight, play area and toys. Look for open play areas for babies to crawl and explore. I'm not a big fan of staying in my room too much unless it's to take a shower, get ready for dinner or sleep. So we would find places to go play for my baby to crawl like the library and sometimes the empty carpeted lobby. Also, bring new or favorite toys. You know your baby's the best. Toys are good to have when your baby is playing in your stateroom or waiting in line. Just about anywhere, toys are great. Number nine, taking it slow at baby's pace and also registering your baby at the baby nursery. The mindset that we had was we were not on vacation to relax, but on vacation to travel and explore instead. You will always be on the go and your schedule will be off and not as consistent. However, there were times when my husband and I needed mental breaks. 
so we just took turns handling one or both kiddos throughout the day. My baby would be awake early in the morning, so then I took this time for some mommy and me time and had breakfast with her. Communication is definitely key. Also, register your kiddos early for the nursery on embarkation day if your cruise light offers it. Also, reserve your shows early online if you can. Number 10, pools and beaches. For beach or pool days, bring sunscreen, swimsuits, and toys. Pool towers are on the ship, and you can also take them off the ship to bring and use at the ports. However, they do need to be returned. If you lose it, there is a fee, and it depends on the cruise line how much that fee is. We love the long sleeve rash guards because my baby is cooler when the rash guards are wet. The whole family wears long sleeve rash guards now too, and we also use a lot less sunscreen when we wear it. Number 11, pictures. On the ship, the crew sets up backdrops to take your photos in the evening. It doesn't cost anything to get in line and get your photos taken. However, the cost comes whenever you buy your photos in print form or digital form. You can also pre-purchase your photo package earlier online or buy it on the ship instead. If you want to take formal pictures or any pictures, be early to take photos. We know our little ones are not patient and do not want to wait for too long. The busiest nights for cruise photos are formal nights. So we either get our photos taken early in the evening, later in the night, or wear our formal attire on another night that isn't formal night. Also, if you want your baby to stare at the camera, bring a bell or a squeak toy for the photographer. Most of the time, other people will clap and whistle to get your baby's attention, but when looking back at your photos, the baby is staring somewhere else and not the photographer's direction. So bringing a bell helps for those photos. Number 12, elevator. The elevators can get full throughout the day, so we press both buttons to go up and down when we have a stroller. Strollers take up so much room, so if you're going up and the elevator can't fit your stroller, we just ride it down and go back up again. It's better than waiting for another elevator to go back up again because more than likely, others are going in the same direction as you. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, mommies. Oh, no, 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 calm down. It goes in the bathtub. No. Okay, later.